I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Tedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. A grand masquerade? I need to go shopping. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. He spent his life in the circle. Uh, perhaps a tailored coat from Valroyo? <laughs> he can't wear armor all the time. He will appreciate the gesture, Lady Ambassador. That's a polite way of saying he wouldn't like it, isn't it? We have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Céline's cousin and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Selene outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the Crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the Elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the Elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briella is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command. <laughs> Promising lead. Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out. The Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Selene's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Selene is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Herods. Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. 
If Orlais falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace. It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. Need to have this jacket let out a little. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lady Inquisitor Trevelyan of the Ostwick Circle of Magi. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. This guy writes better fiction than I do. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Oh, priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed, hero of Orlais. Right Hand of the Divine. Renowned author, Beric Dethrys. Head of Noble House Dethrys, Desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Lord Dorian Pavis, member of the Circle of Arantium. Son of Lord Magister Hallwood Pavis of Azariel. Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Homley, Commander of the Forces of the Inquisition. Former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, Veteran of the Fifth Blight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and Left Hand of the Divine, and Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I am delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have no words to suffice. Halam Shiral has many beauties and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Are you married, Commander? Not yet, but I am already taken. Still single, then? Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. I don't suppose you'd save a dance for me? No, thank you. Oh. No, I didn't mean to make his breath. I've answered that question so many times, I'm rejecting it automatically. I'm not one for dancing. The Templars never attended balls. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. Not enjoying the attention, then? Hardly. Anyway, yours... <clears throat> yours is the only attention worth having. 
Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Not yet. It would be easier if people would stop talking to me. And other people. Not you. We'll talk later. I await your see. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. You still face demons and horrors. These ones are simply better dressed. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. The Grand Duchess tried to convince me Gaspard is the traitor, but I'm not sure I buy it. Florian and her brother are as thick as thieves, but she would give him up in an instant to save herself. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I thought we were here to stop the assassination. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. We came here to save Selene. Then you must not only save her life, but also her Empire. That means giving her a victory over both Gaspard and Briala. If there truly is proof Gaspard's in league with Corypheus, that would be a start. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. Commander, has anyone ever told you that you have the most remarkable eyes? Several times this evening, actually. Thank the Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? The Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess? At once, Inquisitor. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies, 
As a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open, our divine is dead, and many fear the end of all things comes upon us. Orlé must stand as a bastion, a bulwark behind which all Fedas may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years. So shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin, please step forward. Grand Duchess, stand down! <laughs> There you are. Everyone's been looking for you. Things have calmed down for the moment. Are you all right? I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. For all of us. I'm glad it's over. I know it's foolish, but I was worried for you tonight. I may never have another chance like this, so I must ask. May I have this dance, my lady? Of course. I thought you didn't dance. For you, I'll try. I'd be perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. It wasn't the gossip and backstabbing, I know what the game entails, but the indifference to it all. At least there was dancing. <laughs> or an attempt at it, anyway. I thought you did well. Well, I'm grateful for your poor taste in dance part. 